all right guys welcome back we are back with a, another market live stream today if you are watching a recap make sure you remember i am live every day 9 30 a.m central time make sure you find out what time that is for you make sure you get the buy and sell signals before it is full i'm telling you now once it's full it will be closed so that would be the first link in the description and then the second link in the description Make sure you get your Momo account. $100 challenge will start on Monday. Give me one second. All right, welcome guys, welcome, 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 welcome. second one second one second you can go ahead and start writing out your ticker symbols welcome welcome go ahead and start writing out your ticker symbols and we'll check them out <laughs> One second. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Starbucks. Got call options on Starbucks, but it's trading sideways. So those are pretty much they lost about half i believe this right here kind of messed up starbucks should have went up this day so it might be looking a little weaker let's check facebook real quick if you guys didn't watch that video that i made on facebook this morning i advise you to watch it because it's literally doing what i was saying so make sure you watch that video but i was saying below 240 so let's draw it out Below 240, I was looking to buy shares for the long term that I'm looking to hold over two years. I did buy some long term shares. I usually don't send signals out for long term shares because they're not exciting, right? Nobody nobody wants to know what you're buying to hold over two years. But I do send a list so they know what I'm holding long term. But usually when I buy long terms, I just buy it. So I did buy some long term shares below 240. So I bought down here. Those are already up. And this is my first position also on Facebook. I don't have any long position on Facebook. 
looks nice and sturdy right now. So bought long term and then also said I'm not looking to scalp it unless it passes about 250. So still need some more room to kind of pass. But once it starts passing 250, that might be a good time to kind of scalp on here because I'm pretty sure these options lost a lot of value. Oh, they're still kind of high. I like these 270s. They're still kind of high, though. That's the only that's the only thing about them. Make sure you guys uh, get the buy and sell signals before it is full. It's that first link in the chat. Oh, and then also make sure you get your Mumu account to go with the hundred dollar challenge. We're starting on Monday. Uh, let me put that link in here. I am sponsored by Mumu. I want to do a different platform because I already have TD Ameritrade, I already have Robinhood, I already have Webull. So let me let me put this here. All right, there you go. Make sure you hit both of those links. I don't see why you wouldn't. Okay, so I'm watching Facebook. I did buy long-term shares down here. Could be a potential scalp today. Let's see. Let me see. Let me actually let's have two up here. I'll have Facebook on this side. Yeah. All right. So we'll have Facebook on this side. Just know I'm watching 250. Bought long term shares below 240. Make sure you watch that video that I posted today, this morning. Uh, very, very key. Let me check AMD. What is AMD doing? Also got some hedge plays. Apple's very strong right now in this market. Hasn't really gone down. I think they're coming to Apple as a safety play. Let's check IWM. I see a big play on IWM. It just depends. Uh, it's at 50-50 right now. But I see do I do see a big play on IWM. Let me write that down before I forget. Make sure you guys like the video, like the video. IWM, QQQ, Google. I bought some Google shares. Again, long term. Uh, let me see. Actually, we're going to buy some Google shares right now. So we're going to buy some Google shares. Let me send this signal out. I'm thinking about doing uh, call options on Google also with their split. It's going to take some time, but I think they're going to go past well, well past probably three to four thousand. About to buy some shares right now. Bought some shares at two nine eighty three. I'm thinking about doing call options. I don't know yet. Let's see. I feel we can get. Let me see. So it's at two nine five, two nine, ten percent. So we need price to go over about thirty three, which I think we can do. If you remember with the splits of Apple and Tesla, it took them a little while. But they went crazy. So I think Google is taking a little while right now because it's in a heavy market. But Google's a phenomenal company and they're about to be a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar stock. So they're about to go crazy. They're about to go crazy. So just bought some Google shares. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's buy some of that. Kind of, let me see. I 
I'm kind of trying to get in every market, kind of like spread it out, get a little put options here, get some shares here, nothing too heavy. So the market's going up. I did get spy puts, but I'm gonna hold those just as a hedge. I didn't go heavy or anything. Okay, let me just hold those. Let's check Tesla. That's not Tesla. Tesla. I gave you guys that level 880. What happened? Buying pressure. So this is probably uh, the hedge funds buying the dip. Perfect. The per this level hit perfect. Let me just zoom in so you guys can appreciate the levels that I give you. Eight eight eighty fifty is the level that I gave you. Look at the low of this candle. It'll come right here. The low eight eighty fifty two. What happened? Buying pressure. So that's good. Doom just hit it perfectly too. Uh, I feel like it's probably already done its move for the day, though. This is a pretty substantial move. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't. It's probably getting close to the move of the day. I don't think it. I don't think it's gonna go too far from here. Uh, let me see. Let me go back here. Okay, so. SoFi, let's check SoFi. Go ahead and write those tickers out. Make sure you get the buy and sell signals. First link in the chat before it is full and make sure you get your $100 account with Momo. SoFi, I'm 50-50 right now. I am more heavy on the put side on SoFi right now. I really wanna get puts on SoFi. So I'm kinda of just waiting. Cause in, um, in VIP, we did over 70% this week. So VIP is VIP is pretty much good. We only did two plays for seventy percent. VIP is very 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 precise trades. Uh, so far, yeah, so far I'm fifty fifty. I really want to get puts though. I'm leaning more towards the downside than the upside. What's what's going on with Facebook? Did it get halted or something? Why is it paused? That's weird. Oh, I was about to say that's weird. This is probably a good time to get some call options on Facebook down here. Let's see. 265. I might get some scalps on Facebook I don't know though it kind of moved a lot already uh, let's see this was a good time to buy yeah see let's see if it breaks no I'll probably stay away from it I don't want I'm not gonna force it Let's check Apple though. I know Apple's moving good today. No, no clear entry on Apple for a scalp today, so I won't force that. Let's check AMD. AMD does have, a, let's see. No, I'm not gonna force that either. PayPal is still dropping. Yeah, this 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 was a time to get call a uh, scalp call options right here, but then maybe not. We'll see. What stocks are you guys talking about? Morning, Josh. Tesla. So hit that level good. I really, I really want Tesla below 600. Will we get there? I don't know. I'm not bullish yet. I'm bearish right now in this market. 
nothing in here tells me that it's bullish. If you look at the minute chart, it looks bullish, but not on the daily. Oh yeah, didn't Spotify drop? Yeah, it dropped a lot, right? Oh, that reminds me. Um, make sure you guys smash that like button. Uh, earnings. I think I'm gonna do an earnings play after market. So here we go with the earnings. Let's check it out. So we have Amazon. Let me see if I can put it over here. Oh, what happened? Amazon. That's not Amazon. Because there has been some big drops. I might play two. I might play them small. Because the last earnings... Amazon had a little drop, but then it went up afterwards. Amazon had a huge drop. Let's see how Amazon options look. Probably get some 11s on the put side. They're kind of expensive. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Amazon's been coming down. I feel like Amazon's gonna be the next one to have a split. Watch out for that. Um, what was the other ones that had earnings? Let's see if we can get an earnings play. And, and I need to check Excella. So Snap Pins Ford, Unity, Skyworks, Clorox. I feel like Clorox might be down. So I'll probably just snap and forward. Let me see. Let me check forward. Ford could go up because they're EV side. But see right now it's like, what was the other one? Snap. Huh. See, see the only thing about snap is it already dropped. So this was what I was expecting in the earnings, I was gonna get puts, but since it already dropped, kinda of messed those up. It dropped because of Facebook. Can it drop more? Uh, I don't know. That's 50-50. How do options look? Oh yeah, good thing I didn't get it. Facebook dropping. Might be the high of Facebook today. Might be. Watch that. Oh, like I said, I bought long-term shares below 240 down here. Um, let's see. Snap. How do these put options look? Ooh, these are expensive. I mean, makes sense though. See, that's the only thing right now. Since Snap already had that drop, they might already be pricing that in. I think it kind of messed up that earnings play. So the only thing we might have is maybe Amazon. That's not Amazon. I'd have to see. I'll have to look at it before the market closes. But uh, Spotify. I don't know. I don't use Spotify. I use Apple Music. So it could be good for long term, but I don't think it's for me right now. Oh yeah, J and J. How's J and J doing? They're about to make highs. Nothing. Uh, uh. Yeah, J and J has nothing clear to play. Discovery. Yeah, there's there's nothing uh, clear in here either. Mm -mm -mm. What's the spy doing? Spy slowing down. Probably waiting for earnings, Amazon earnings. Let's check Excella. Yeah, I know a lot of people saying it's going to 50, but I need to see entries. Yep, looking weaker.
maybe in the 70 cents range i'll be interested in buying it but right now it's kind of high i want some pullback so we'll see how excel plays out i know a lot of people say going to 50 going to 50 that's fine but i need to see entries i'm not just gonna buy because i think it's going to 50. and do you know how how much it'll take to actually go to 50. <clears throat> Good morning, Americo. Yeah, I talked. I talked about Tesla a lot today. Tesla's moving. It looks bullish, right? If you look at the minute chart, right, five minute chart, it looks bullish. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. But it's really not doing anything. It's just trading in the same range right now. It's not breaking out. It's not breaking lower. Kind of just in the same range, right around like 920 or so. It's been there for like a week. So not really doing anything. I'm waiting for AMD to go at least 117. What is up, Matt? Matt is a VIP member. AMD. Yeah, AMD. Hmm. I low key want to get puts on AMD, but then I also want to get calls. So I'm kind of stuck in the middle. What's more expensive? So the call side is more expensive right now. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of want to get puts on AMD. I just have to see. I have to wait a little bit longer. Ford, Ford has earnings after market. Will they be good or bad? Especially right now in these markets, you really don't know. Like, like Qualcomm had amazing earnings. They even beat revenue by like a billion dollars. And look at where their stock is. Look at this movement. It's supposed to be up here. We gave all that up. That's why right now it's like 50-50. With Ford, it could drop or it could skyrocket I don't know which one it'll do more probably because with their EV numbers I feel like they might go higher but it's 50 50 uh, snap like snapchat square I, I have Square my long term, so I've been buying a little bit as it's lower. I think Square is a good long term play. When you look at it, let me show you real quick. So this drop that it had, this drop was about from one hundred dollars to thirty three. That was about sixty seven percent. This current drop from about 290 to where it is now is 63%. So this drop was actually worse than this one. This just looks worse. So it, has, it hasn't even done this type of drop yet, but I have been buying a little bit long-term. Facebook, looks like it's probably giving that up. Square is good long-term, shorter term, I don't see any levels of play. Yeah, I heard Spotify is not bad, but and uh, some of my cars, Spotify, when other people play Spotify, it sounds lower than Apple Music. Apple Music, I feel like I get more like bass and music out of the system. Spotify doesn't sound too good. I wanted call options on Baba. I actually still do, but I, I'm I'm fifty fifty on a lot of stocks right now. 
especially in these market conditions, you want to slow down your plays. Really look at the markets because it's a lot of 50 50. BBIG, I'm 50 50. They're, they're all kind of in the same position. Like, just look. Kind of in the same position it's been trading in, just in this range. Baba, kind of been in a range, right around like 124 range. Square, square's actually dipping down. Ford, right in a range. Qualcomm wasn't a range, but had earnings. AMD, not really in a range. Tesla, in a range. Excella is not in a range. I think Excella is giving it up. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, that's why I say don't. Just because somebody's saying it's going somewhere, make sure you know your entry and exit. It's down over 8%. I see a possible play with it, but like I said, it needs to come down lower. What is Spy doing? Let me check. Spy kind of giving it up. Hmm. Put options on GM look very good. Actually. Hmm. Put options on GM look kind of good. Possible put option play on GM. They look kind of good. Yeah, AMD options are kind of expensive right now. Uh, let's see. Watt. No, nothing clear on Watt. I would say I'm more bearish on Watt than bullish. And uh, AMC is going up today. Well, it was going up. Because uh, I was checking the IWM. If you don't know, AMC is an IWM. And IWM was bullish. It looks the same. Right? Look at IWM. And then check AMC. Same thing. So I knew AMC was going up when I checked IWM. But it's kind of giving that up. Like I said, I'm more bearish right now in the markets. SPY. I got SPY puts today. I, oh, oh, I know, I know what I want to do. IWM. I think I'm going to get some IW inputs also. Something small. Let's see. Um, yeah, Facebook's giving it up. Let me see IWM. February 18th. Let's see. Oh, yeah, these aren't bad. The 180s. I do inputs. So let me write down GM. Possible puts. Let me check so far real quick. Oh, I really want to get put options on so far. Let's check the lantern. No, I'm sleepy. Palanter probably gonna make all time lows to be honest with you. Looks very weak. Fisker. Yeah, Fisker looks weak also. There's nothing really, there's, you see how a lot of stocks, they're like in this range, if you haven't noticed. They have this little range that they built in this range. That's why I'm like 50-50, SoFi, 50-50, AMC, 50-50. Yeah, you have to really look at stocks now instead of just looking, uh, what is it doing on the minute chart? They're all in a range right now, like 50-50. 
Let me check. But all right, guys, I think that's it for the live stream. Thank you guys for being here. I will be live tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Central Time. Make sure you get your buy and sell signals before it is full because once it's full, it will be closed. Make sure you get your $100 account with Momo. You get up to five free stocks that can actually pay for your $100 so you can trade for free. And then um, we'll be starting that $100 challenge on Monday. You guys will be picking the plays. We'll be doing a live stream. I think it would be fun to see the growth and we can play with the plays and stuff. So thank you guys for being a live stream. I'll catch you guys in the later videos. Bye.